this is the sexy moth king, Bart Coppens. And today I am going to read The Hungry Caterpillar to my pet caterpillars and moths. On my YouTube channel I breed many butterflies and moths. But sometimes these guys need a little bit of entertainment. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Page 1. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Aww. Oh, I remember when you guys were eggs. It was so long ago. Let's go to the next page. Yeah, come on. I know you guys are excited. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Aww, they grow up so fast. Exciting, exciting. Next page. He started to look for some food. Aha, on Monday he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. Man, this guy eats healthier than me, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, oh man, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake and one slice of watermelon. Okay guys, don't get any weird ideas. I'm not going to feed you guys any candy or sausage. I'm a good parent. Yeah, that's right. I'm forcing you guys to eat your vegetables, aren't I? That night he had a stomach ache. Oh, predictable, predictable. Man, this guy's starting to eat like me. I was wrong. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf and after that he felt much better. That's right guys, eat your leaves. Moral of the story. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. He built a small house, called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out and... <gasps> he was... A beautiful butterfly. This is discrimination. Moths are also beautiful. That's right, guys. You are going to become beautiful butterflies. But you know what? You don't have to become a butterfly to be beautiful in my eyes. Even as caterpillars, even as eggs, even as cocoons, you are beautiful to me. Finally guys, now this is a book that I can get into. My, my mother always told me I should learn how to read. Haha, -ha. in your face mom. But there's something I disagree with though. I believe in everybody there is a caterpillar with the potential to turn into a beautiful butterfly or moth. But I also believe some of them don't. And that's okay. I think you're just beautiful in any stage of life, even if you are a caterpillar forever. I don't think you have to metamorphosize into a prettier, superior version of yourself just to feel appreciated. 
Sometimes it's okay to be just the way you are, even if you are a fat caterpillar. This was the Sexy Moth King. See you later.